Welcome to our class today. So I'm here, the moms, and we're going to talk about hydrocarbons. But first, what is a hydrocarbon? You know what a hydrocarbon is? Okay. So when we say hydrocarbon, these are the compounds that are composed of only carbon and hydrogen. So a compound having a carbon and hydrogen atom is what we call hydrocarbon. What are the different classifications of hydrocarbons? Okay, we have the first one is the aliphatic hydrocarbons. This is what we're going to talk about in this class, the aliphatic hydrocarbons. So what is this aliphatic hydrocarbons? So it has different types. We have the alkenes, the alkenes, and the alkynes. So how these three differ with one another? So first, we're going to talk about their main difference. So I have here three pictures, one for the alkene, one for the alkenes, and one for the alkynes. So I would like you to take a look and observe the picture very carefully as I give you 10 seconds to tell us what is the main difference of this tree. So we have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, time's up. So let's take a look carefully on each picture. What am I pointing at? So I'm pointing at, I'm pointing at its bond. So this line represents the bond between the atoms. Okay, so in the alkanes, you have seen only one, each bond from carbon to hydrogen. Next is on the alkenes. Can you see that? There are two bonds. And in the alkynes, there are three bonds. So that is their main difference. It only has a single bond. And in the alkenes, we have double bond. And in the alkynes, there are triple bond. Aside from this, what are the other differences between these three? Let's take a look on the Venn diagram that I prepared to you. So we have the Venn diagram of alkenes, alkenes, and alkynes. So on the right side, you will have there the alkenes. On the left side, you will have there the alkanes, and on the lower side is the property and classification of alkynes. And on the middle triangle, this is where the properties and characteristics that they all have. First characteristic that they have is that they belong to the aliphatic hydrocarbon. Okay, let's take a look with the first difference. Alkanes single bond, alkenes double bond, alkynes triple bond as we have it a while ago. Aside from that, alkanes have no odor. Alkenes have sweet odor and alkynes have unpleasant odor. Next. Alkanes have boiling point of negative 89 degrees Celsius, while alkanes have a boiling point of negative 103.7 degrees Celsius, and alkanes have a boiling point of negative 84 degrees Celsius. What else? Alkanes are saturated. Alkanes are unsaturated. Same with alkynes. And... All of them are flammable. It means they can easily caught a fire. 
they are colorless, they are insoluble. Next, let's take a look how are we going to name these hydrocarbon compounds. Since there are only carbon and hydrogen on the compound, so how can we name them? Okay, we can name them by minding how many carbon atom is in the compound and also the number of bonds present in the compound. So we're going to use the prefixes and the suffixes. We use prefix to indicate the number of carbon atom and we use the suffix to represent the number of bonds are there in the compound. Okay. We have here the list of prefixes that we can use in naming hydrocarbons. So we use meth if there is only one carbon atom. We use et for two carbon atom. We use prop for three carbon atoms. We use but for four carbon atoms. We use pent for five carbon atoms. We use hex for six carbon atoms. We use HEP for 7 carbon atoms. We use OCT for 8 carbon atoms. We use NONE for 9 carbon atoms. I use, and we use DEC for 10 carbon atoms. Plus, we use the suffix A and E or AIN to represent a single bond. We use E and E to indicate a double bond. And we use Y and E to indicate a triple bond. Let's take a look as an example. Meth. Let's take a look. Meth as an example. Okay. Meth indicates that there is only one carbon atom present in the bond. Plus, using the suffix AIN, to indicate a single bond, it will get is methane. And methane has a chemical formula of CH4. It means one carbon atom and four hydrogen atom. Or a structural formula like this one on the picture. That is the methane's structural formula. Another example that we're going to have is the use of F. Okay, we use F. It means there are two carbon atom plus a single bond. We're going to have ethane. And ethane has a chemical formula of C2H6. It means there are two carbon atom and six hydrogen atom. And its structural formula looks like this one. So we have two carbon atom. One, two. And it is bonded with six hydrogen atoms. Next, going to use... Prop. Prop means three. So prop, when we use the prefix prop, it means there are three carbon atoms present in the compound. Okay, and we will add, we're going to add in for a single bond. So we have propane. So, propane has a chemical formula of C3H8. So, it has 3 carbon atom and 8 hydrogen atom. And it has a chemical formula of C3H8 with a structural formula that looks like this. So, there are 3 carbon atoms and each carbon atom is bonded with hydrogen atom so there are three carbon atom and eight hydrogen atom okay for your activity so what i would like you to do is to 
do the hydrocarbon compound naming to the rest of the left prefixes and suffixes. Write the name of the compound, the chemical formula, and the structural formula of each one. So, you're going to continue what I have done. So, I am done until prop. You're going to do the but, the prefix but, pent, hex, hep, ox, non, and dec. Plus, the alkane, the alkene, and the alkyne bond. Or the single, double, triple bond. So, you're going to write it down on your activity sheet or in your paper. Then, send it to me. Okay, so you're going to name the compounds using all of this. All the prefixes and all the and all the aliphatic hydrocarbons. Okay? Nalagay nyo yung met, yung et, yung prop, yung bat, yung pent, yung hex, yung hep, yung oct, yung non, yung dec. So, for single bond, double bond, and triple bond. Okay? So, that's it. And for your assignment, what is functional group? What are the different functional groups? How each of them differ with one another? And how to name hydrocarbon compounds using these functional groups? That's all and we'll see you again next class. Thank you.